We've seen seven in the arsenal in the past from Arihar. Oh, he drops in a beauty, but didn't get a call on Arise. Very good hitter. And there's a strike. One and one. Percentage second best in the league. Foul that one away. For one, two. And that one popped up short left field. Long run Calhoun, and he gets there. Well, good to keep Arise off the bases ahead of Correa. And he'll take one inside for a ball. Only driven in 39 so far this year. And he swings over the top of that one. And the, the A's a young or inexperienced team anyway. There's a strike, one and two. Kohei's one, two. And that's bounced straight down. Zone trying to induce weak contact. One, two. And he gets him swinging. Five last night. Polanco in the third spot in the order today, and he takes ball one. Walks most on the team, eighth most in the lead. And he takes downstairs. And certainly fresh off the plate pretty significantly. That's ball three. Blanco, a switch hitter. And he shows bunt and takes strike one. So much as he's just looking to, to walk. 3 1. Oh, he goes after that one. I take it back. That's a base hit. Hara pumps one right in there for Lynn Manuel Miranda. I thought that took a good deal of strength <laughs> uh, a little while ago. 1 1, and that's lifted out into right field. Playable for Garcia, and the inning is done. I like, yeah, I it. like it. Keeps the pace going a little bit. I think a lot of us, when we first heard it, were like, eh, feels kind of little league. Yeah. But I think it's working out well. Yeah, I, and I, I agree. I think. You hear from players who enjoy it as well. It it keeps it interesting and intense, that's for sure. This one hits sharply right side by Kepler, and he has a base hit to start the second inning. Gordon now. And he doesn't quite pull the trigger, takes ball. The, the, the only guy really who's in a shift there is the third baseman, Duran. Everybody else with a long look in. That is off the plate. Two and one. It's been pretty good movement on that two-seam fastball today. That one may be more than he wanted it to. On the ground, first base. Good pick over there for the one out. The throw to second in time. And you to make the throw. Urshela, the batter. I well, saw an old video. Not old. Come that old. When Cole Cocker player with a header. <laughs> <laughs> he just knocked it right off his helmet. Which I don't think is legal. And Arihara off the plate, two and one. For a better chance of being safe, B, to stay out of <laughs> the way of the throw. There's a bouncer into the hole, it's short. Long throw for Seeger, and he gets. For those last four starts. Well, Arihara trying to follow suit. Left handed hitter, but a sub 200 average. It's been a struggle offensively for him. Is in the stretch. I'm not so sure that Kohei was aware of what was going on behind him there for a moment. Or he, he even knows right now. Like, did he ever. We've seen that third baseman. I still haven't figured out why. Well, there's a strikeout of kind of slow between pitches. But I thought he was going to throw before everybody got into place. There's a broken bat and roller right side. That's a tough little play. And the scoop to rise. 0 for 1 flew out to left field. It was a, a fly ball down the line, and it did not go very deep. And Cole counted. It was a nice defensive play by Cole. This one shanked off to the left side. 0 2, and Rise reaches out and pokes that one by the mound. Seeger takes care of it, and the inning is done. How about eight pitches for Kohei Arihar far today against Joe Ryan? Ayahara, meanwhile, coming off his best inning.
And he gets Correa to bounce the first pitch to shortstop in the first. And that one is off the plate, ball one. You remember with Polanco, last pitch we just saw. And that one misses 2 0. Oh. And then Polanco squared on the 3 0 pitch as if he were going to bind and CJ's 4. And then I made the wise comment that he must be in walk mode. And he said, Miranda. Aggressive. The value of getting players to the big leagues at a younger age when they're ready for it, if they are. And then think about Joe Ryan as a rookie, pitching well. And here's 2022 is no exception. 1-1, one, one, and this one bounced right back to the mound. Ari Mara makes the play himself. He gets man at second, two out, and a breaking ball in there for a strike to Max Kepler on a single. That tied the game. And Ari Mara off the plate will big years, but Kepler has been a problem for him. And this one fouled off. Misses with that one, it's two and two. All right, two, two. And that one runs off the plate. So, you know, I mean, it took a few to come to terms. Now the three, two. And this one on the ground, first base, and that'll be an easy play for Nathaniel. Logos. Well, Arihara goes back to work in this fifth beautiful afternoon up here in Minnesota. And this one on the ground, first base. Low has it. Good feed to Arihara. Gordon engaged with all those ground balls. He looks good to them. Well, gets her shell out of pound. The big deal they made just prior to spring training is that one is down low. Grab a couple and put them on your club. The 1 1. Bouncer, left side of the infield, and that'll be playable for Duran. And her shell. He'll take low for a ball. Cave struck out in the third. Mario Hara with that pitch count very much in check as well. He's been relative chase against the Oakland A's. And so more pitches in the zone, but still about the same strike rate. Cave gives it a pretty good pass. But they... All right, Twins batting here with the sixth inning. Sandy Leone takes a strike. There's one of the Twins. Played nine games with Cleveland earlier this season as well and he swings through that one and he strikes out Leon on three bit today 0 for two though he goes after the first pitch and lost it out into right field for Garcia and there are two gone this afternoon and hopefully a lot more best we've ever seen him throw I don't, I can't recall Correa, that's on just rather off the inside. Two and up. Before the game started, and then came almost right back in. I wondered if his kind of pregame routine had gotten disrupted, and it would be up. this afternoon. I, I, I think everybody did their best with it, but there was just it just wasn't going to happen. And there's a strike. Three and more there. Yeah. Head of communications here with the Minnesota Twins. Stop by the booth. And this one popped up. Left side of the infield, easy play. Four. Hard. Jim Reynolds and Tim Timmons back in New York City said, yeah, he's out. Send your cards and letters. Arihara has pitched to beauty so far today. He's still shy of 70 pitches. And that's off the plate. One and one, one pitch. And this one lined out to right field. That's a base hit. Polanco is aboard. Soon here this evening. We haven't seen Taylor Hearn in a few days, so he'll certainly be fresh. The foul ball by Miranda. We want to stay away from him, you know, facing a potential tying run, at least, if not earlier. So he's got some room here with this 4 0 play in his first at bat. On one pitch, and that one's lined into left field. So Miranda is aboard. Back to back singles in the seventh inning. And that's really good.